All right, hello everyone. This is uh, part two. If you have not seen the first part in the other video, uh, please check it out. So in this video, I'm going to break it down a little bit and go into detail about the effort and ability part. So before this video, I talked about the math test, right? About how uh, individuals who take exams, um, even though they work really hard, meaning study, they study really hard, right? They study, they put in 100%, okay? Uh, everything that they can do, that doesn't necessarily mean that they will be uh, successful, right? Meaning that they will pass the test, okay? So studying, yes, we need that. But at the same time, you need to retain and you need to have the ability to have the test-taking st skill, right? So this ability that I'm talking about applies to mostly everything. So it's effort and ability that allows us success. Okay. So I think a lot of people will be able to um, understand this and think you know what I mean by this. So a lot of individuals who start off uh, doing the business, okay, um, they do it in the hopes of what? Becoming successful, right? hopes of success okay so whatever it is if you're an athlete then uh, let's say that you practiced every single day and every single day you built your ability up with your effort right so your hard work and your um, baseball let's say skills have gone up your ability has gone up to hit bat uh, and you know pitch and catch and do all those things right because of your hard work uh, now what's involved time okay so a lot of people are able to accomplish um, the necessary things and have the necessary abilities uh, in time okay so you know we've heard about the 10,000 hour rule and things like that right so What's the difference then in business? Okay, so a lot of businesses, if you become an independent business owner, you usually have to pay money. Okay, you have to pay rent and pay for expenses, right? Whatever it is, everything goes under that category, right? And you don't have time to make mistakes, right? Because your mistakes cost money, lots of money, okay? So let's think about this and let's go into how most business models work, okay? So I'm going to stick with MLMs, okay, because that's what I'm discussing right now. So MLMs cost money, meaning there is a fee to register and a fee to maintain, uh, maintenance fee um, of some sort, and then there's the product uh, margin usually, right? So if you buy in bulk like Costco or Sam's, um, you get a better discount, right? But Sam's and Costco, you have a membership fee. So they kind of offer that too in MLMs and different businesses. If you buy in bulk, they'll give you a 30% discount or something and then you'll be able to turn around and sell this to your consumers and make a 30% um, profit per se. Okay. Um, but usually this, being able to get this, requires some kind of ability. Okay. You have to be able to turn around and sell your product fast enough so that um, your product doesn't um, stack up, so maybe you have to be on auto ship, or your cost to maintain and run your business um, continues. So therefore, if you're not able to sell these products, then you're still having to pay for your monthly fees, monthly expenses to maintain your business. Okay. So in a restaurant, it's the same thing. Let's say that you're a horrible cook. Okay. Let's say that you're horrible at making whatever dish you promise to make at your restaurant. Okay. Um, let's say steaks, okay, your steaks, no bueno, no good, okay, but 
you have to pay for rent, you have to pay for food, staff, everybody, right? And your goal is to satisfy the consumer so that they come back for your steak. But every time your um, customer comes, I say customer number one comes, you, they order the steak, they eat it, it's horrible. Oh, they say, oh man, it's horrible, it tastes bad. And you say, don't worry, um, I'm learning how to cook right now. So if you come back next week, the steak that I provide you will be tasty. It'll taste much better, right? Are they going to come back? Uh, most likely no. So you can't, you don't have the ability to learn as you go because of cost. Okay, That's why a lot of people fail. Now, if this individual would have been better prepared to sell their steak um, by already learning how to cook, then they wouldn't run into this problem. Same thing in MLMs. If we allow you ample time to become a good sales rep, okay, to prospect and to promote our product, before all this though, the product has to be good, right? If you have a horrible product, no matter how good of a salesman you are, it's just an uphill battle, okay? So don't talk about products. I say products is already good, okay? So Atomy goes for absolute price, absolute quality, and we sell uh, regular stuff, right? Just like a regular supermarket. So you're, you're just a supermarket owner, okay? It's not the same in the States and the other countries yet, but in Korea it is, and we're launching our regular store that sells regular branded items, right? Like I told you, Coke, Mountain Dew, Nike, Adidas, LG, Samsung TVs, you know, all those things, okay? So product, it's already taken care of, okay? So I'll rephrase that, okay? Now, Atomy is free to start, okay? Free everything, okay? So it doesn't cost you any money to become a sales rep and learn. But you, once you register, you can maintain a position. So you have leverage on where you are, uh, you're first registered, right? And then you can register other individuals, okay? While learning how to prospect, while learning how to be a sales rep, while learning how to give value. So technically, you don't need the upfront ability you just need to put in the hard work. What? Hard work for what? To become good at what this field requires. To be a good sales rep, to you know, to um, prospect people, to promote people, to share value, to experience, you know, and to market yourself online or whatever it may be, to share yourself, right? Um, share the Atomy experience with individuals around you at no cost. That's the beauty of this business and that's what I want people to understand. Not all businesses allow you to do this, okay? For example, if you want to maintain this position, um, your ID has to accumulate a certain amount of sales volume. If you're, or you have to be on auto ship. Auto ship means you have to keep buying products. So that's the expense that you're, you are investing in to maintain this position, okay? Well, if you're not good at selling it and you're on auto ship, what's gonna happen? You're gonna keep getting products in your house and you're gonna you're gonna have stock that you can't get rid of um, those are the small things that you have to think about anatomy doesn't require anything okay so now we've talked about that now I'm gonna move on about your downline okay um, all companies promise you a percentage okay so let's not be fooled by the percentage okay some people say, oh, our company gives back 50%. Our company gives back, um, I don't know, 70%. These are unrealistic numbers, okay? 50% of the company's revenue will be given back to the um, IBO, okay? If that's the case, then that means that there's a big chance that the consumer is not getting the best deal possible, right? Because the company has to take... 50% from somewhere, or give it to you from something, right? From their profits. So always remember how the company compensation plan is stacked. Okay? Usually it's stacked against you. So um, let's just say easy example. Let's just do um, 50%. Sounds great, right? 
but then there's usually a breakdown of the 50 percent one two three four five let's just say so let's say the 10 percent is for a general commission okay and then let's say 10 percent is for um your matching okay and let's say 10 percent is for um some kind of matching general and education and 10 percent 10 percent okay so usually most people are not able to qualify for all five okay you have to be some kind of superstar okay so even out of the 50 percent usually the company only gives you like 10 percent if you ever do what they require right and that 10 percent is usually personal sales volume your group right so personal group Bear with me, my pen's horrible. Personal, if you turn on the captions in YouTube, it'll type everything out for you too, so. Um, personal group sales volume PV, you get 10% of that, okay? So now let's talk about this group thing, okay? So the 50%, it's never 50% just straight up, right? You have to qualify for all these things. It's very, Difficult to qualify for any of those. Okay, now they'll say matching bonus where this person, if they do really well and they're getting two thousand dollars, they'll match your income two thousand dollars, and you have probably some kind of auto ship and personal PV filling requirements, but you get that. This never works. Okay, this will never work as it goes down and down and down and down and down. Uh, people will be very upset with this. That's why a lot of people got rid of this and they did the breakaway system, things like that, okay? But as soon as you uh, think about all these things, it's not the percentages that really matter, right? Like even if you work at a car dealership, you're not making 50% off of a car being sold, but you're still making, if you're a good salesman, you're still making like $10,000 a month. So don't be fooled by those numbers, okay? So Atomy promises you 35%, okay? 35% is broken down into a very easy three steps, okay? The general commission, and then the mastership, and then the education, okay? These, these two on their own equate for more than 30%, okay? And then the rest, like 2%, is over here. So 30 to 33% is over here. And these two, once you learn the compensation plan, are tied together, and it is inevitable that you'll get paid these percentages. It's inevitable, okay? How is it so? Um, I'm not going to go into much detail, but watch my um, other video in terms of learning the compensation plan. But this is what happens, okay? So ability and effort. I have no ability, but I signed up because it was free. And I started to use the products. Why? Because they were good. And, can't spell, right? Good. And it costs less to buy from Atomy than it did um, at Walmart or whatever mark that you have, okay? Um, because you like the quality and the price that you were get, getting. So you you felt that there was value in a or many products Atomy uh, offers, okay? There's the answer, okay? You have to satisfy these things first, okay? But remember, I told you there's gonna be a um, online shopping mall as well that's gonna sell all branded, branded products, okay? So you signed up and now you're part of the system. And let's say that you told your friend about just this amazing product that you're using and there's no strings attached, no catch. But at the same time, it's a business. This person listens. Let's say this person is a sales rep. Has been in sales for 10 plus years, understands the concept of selling. You, on the other hand, do not. Okay, let's say you're a student or you're just somebody who has no sales experience. Well, you register this person, let's call this person A, 
This person A understands that everything I explained in video one in this video. So they start leveraging off of other sales reps that they know and start registering individuals and consumers and aunties and uncles who will be satisfied with the product. And this downline is your A-line group PV, general, okay? And let's say that everything this sales rep A does, you don't know what they're doing, right? You just register this person because you know this person personally or you just met this person and, you know, just through conversation, just naturally flowed and they were willing to register because it was free. They saw the product lineup and they were satisfied with it. They saw the compensation plan and so on. Now, everything that this person does, 100% of their PV becomes yours and everybody on top. Okay. So what just happened? It's just like that math test that I talked talk to you about. Even if you did not have the ability to sell, this person did, so therefore they did what they already knew how to do and you leveraged off of that. Now, since this is the case, since it's so easy to leverage off of each other, Adam has a income what ceiling okay meaning that every day your max payout can be in general commission about fifteen hundred dollars okay and this automatically what happens is the accumulated PV from the first to the fifteenth okay and from the sixteenth to the end of the month your accumulated total PV if it passes 2.5 million, 2.5 million, okay? Then you automatically become what we call a sales master, okay? And this person gets automatically another commission. So remember in the video I said there's one, two, three, okay? The first one is the general. So this is this PV, okay? This PV, just all the accumulated PV. So you get paid each day for that, okay? And then the second one is the mastership. Which is a P, which is a bonus we get every 15 days, okay, from the first to the 15th and 16th to the end here. I showed you here, right? So once your general commission just automatically matures and accumulates, you automatically get the mastership bonus. Okay, so there you go. You can make lots of money by just doing what, registering and registering other individuals who see value in the product and they're not paying to register. So therefore you can register 10,000 people and still get paid zero dollars. So this business is not a recruiting business. This business is about helping other individuals save money by buying brands that they are already familiar with or products that they are already using at home. Products meaning toothbrush, toothpaste, right? People don't need certain brands for those if they are satisfied with what you can offer them. What they care about is the price and quality. So if you can share the value, then you have a business. And a business means that you're building consumers, right? Whatever business in the world. So don't say, oh, this is a pyramid scheme because you have to recruit people and register people. Um, no, this is a business because in a business, you have to sell products and services, okay? So if you choose to do this as a business, you will, of course, have to share and create consumers, okay? If you call that recruiting, you can call that recruiting, whatever you'd like, okay? Now, as you do this, you start to gain what we call passive income. So I've been making hundreds of thousands of dollars doing Atomy, right? Mm, this is my first time ever sharing stuff online because I just never found the time to do it and never saw it as mm, necessary, right? Because I already have a large enough group to just communicate with them, um, non, not online, right? But um, I'm starting to do this because it's so much easier to uh, communicate with people and I can help so many more people who are able to view this online, right? So as you do this, um, you start to gain passive income. Okay, so think about your neighborhood market, okay? The owner, the owner, they have passive income, right? It's not 100% passive, 70% eh, passive, okay? 
Okay. What I mean is their 30% efforts bring in 100%. Right. So 30% equals the rest of the 70 and then equals 100. So just think about it that way. So just like, um, well, this is only possible because the owner ha does not have to operate the market. Okay, I'm thinking about like a neighborhood Walmart or something like that, just a small one. I guess that's a big one, but uh, I'm not talking about like a local flower shop where the owner, since it's small, has to make all the flower arrangements, has to put in the orders, has to ship it, and all these things. That's not passive income, okay? That's labor intensive. I'm talking about one where they already have a manager and they already have all their products in line and everything's automated and they just sit back at home and consumers come and the other 30% are logistics that they have to take care of, taxes that they, they have to take care of and all those things, you know? What products that they're going to launch and not launch and take away and what discounts they're going to offer and, you know, things like that. We'll say that. Okay. Atomy turns into a 100% 100% passive income. Okay, so 100% passive income is like being a stockholder. Okay, you own the stock, company does everything else, right? They run it, they do everything, okay? And if they are successful, profit sharing. Okay, you get dividends, you get money, okay? Voila. Well, people can't do this because they have no what? Money, no capital. If you had millions of dollars and you can invest and get your return every year, perfect. That's passive income. Okay. If you don't, how are you going to make it? I chose Atomy, right? Because I didn't have the income. I didn't have the capital needed to invest. So now I have both, right? I use my money from Atomy, which is 100% passive. And then now I buy other things, stocks and whatever it is that I need to buy. And I make more money. But you first have to make money. And most people make money through a job, uh, whatever job that you have. And then they save and then invest. Okay? So I'm saying keep your job. Keep all those things. Do Atomy on the side. If your income is very low, like if you live in Indonesia and other countries where the average income is like $150 to $200, oh, quit. Do Atomy. You'll be able to make... 300 to 500 dollars instantly okay yes instantly if you just understand the system and do the steps that i teach you okay all right so why this becomes passive income is this consumers come for the product right not for the money money no money no the consumers stay because if they leave, they'll lose out because the others cost more. Okay, so my wife used a hundred and hundred ten dollar deep cleanser. Adamies was eight dollars. She saved one hundred and two dollars. Of course, she's gonna stay here. She's not gonna go back to that. Okay, and the regular deep cleansers in Korea cost around thirty dollars. Okay, so eight dollars, thirty dollars, still a twenty two dollar savings. She's not going anywhere, and that applies to a lot of different products. Okay. Next, you automatically make other IBOs under you. Remember about that leverage that I talked to you about? Because you have to register to be a member. Okay, And this person is doing the business because they see all this works. So now they're starting to make money. They're not making money for you. right? They're making money for themselves. But since you introduced them into the system, you gain from their ability. Okay, And this person as well. Now, this person, A, is making $5,000 a month through the system, and this person is making $10,000, let's say. Now, you're automatically making whatever you're making because of these individuals' leverage, because you help build them, grow with them, teach them, so on. So your money is 100% passive because these people aren't going to quit because of you. They're, they're not doing it because of you anyways. They're doing it to do it because they like the system. And it's 100% passive because you don't have to do anything. Atomy, they do the research and launch the products that they need. They ship the products out. They 
they handle everything. All you do is maintain a uh, relationship rapport with your downline and help other individuals who uh, want to learn and or just don't do enemy anymore, you know? So for example, for me, I'm making hundreds of thousands of dollars, but I technically don't have to do anything anymore, right? Because my downline already, they're already making that money. Um, the only way that I could fail in this business is if I terminate my account or if Atomy goes bankrupt, right? But Atomy is not going to go bankrupt anytime soon, right? So it's a billion dollar company already in 14 different countries. Um, 20 some odd countries can already register, close to 30 countries. Um, company's not going to go anywhere. So that is why this business works. Okay? That's the leverage that I'm talking about, ability and effort. Okay? Um, in other businesses, it takes too much time for your ability level to go up. And during that time, it costs too much money to maintain your account, your, your business. So therefore, you go bankrupt. Uh, but a lot of individuals in this business who already have the ability are very successful here because there's no cost to them. They just make money instantly. But in all businesses, you have to put in the effort, hard work. There's no free success. Okay. But this is the best way to make true passive income in the end. In the end. We all start from one. Right. We all start from active income. Active income goes to, I always say, one, two, three, four, five. This side is passive income. Everybody starts from one. Everybody dreams of going to five, but not everybody can make it to five. Okay. So one equals 100% of your effort equals money. Five equals 0% of your effort equals money. Why zero now? Because if you have a system like this, it's no longer dependent on you, but on these people, and then so on and so on. They're not making money for you in terms of, they're not working hard to make you money, right? But they're making you money anyways because of how the system is laid out. This is the future of distribution and sales, okay? So I hope this video uh, gives you a better understanding. I hope it helps you and watch my other videos and please um, subscribe to the channel. You can find it on Facebook, Atomy Information, on YouTube, uh, Atomy Information. You guys can email me at atomyinformation at gmail. Uh, so I'll love to talk to you guys if you're interested and share this video with people if you're already an Atomy member. Show them why you're doing it. This is why, right? Um, share this and grow, all right? I hope to see you guys all soon.